to item 481. We're going to go to Councilmember Davis. Comment, questions, whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'll keep this, this quick because I think there's quite a few in the audience that would like to speak on it. But uh, I want to thank Mr. Callahan uh, for getting this put together quickly and for you, Mr. Mayor, for getting it on the agenda today. I know it's important to a lot of our um, a lot of people in our community, and I look forward to hearing what the uh, those in our audience like to say about it. Thank you. <clears throat> Bill Carruthers, you're up, and then Anthony, you're up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As Mexico Grande, otra vez. Vuelva allí. Nothing prevents our lovely, wonderful, talented, and gifted uh, Hispanic community from making Mexico into a place even more lovely, even more humane, even more prosperous than this country. All they have to do is reduce their population to about a fifth of what it presently is now. It is it is just incredibly overpopulated beyond that and we are overpopulated in California as well and for its resources. I would especially like to mention that the action taken by President Obama was illegal. This is a matter for the Congress to decide and not the executive branch. And I am delighted that President, uh, President, uh, what's his name, the, the mouthpiece, uh, has, re has rescinded this act and everything. However, um, I, I hope, I'm sure that my words will be ignored by a group seeking for their own political advancement, but I made them. And my comments are also on the sheet. Thank you, sir. From now on, you're going to have to raise your hand so we know you're coming, sir. Thank you for We've the point of clarification. I didn't know that, sir. Uh, I'm just excited about this. This is, this is something that I think represents the best of our community. You know, any time we can do something to promote the welfare of our children is something that I don't think needs to be argued against. Uh, more importantly, there was something that recently went up at the Central Labor Council through a, a young artist named Willow. They painted a butterfly up on the side of the Central Labor Council, and that represents migrants. Uh, and so what I would like to ask is that the city at some point take action to include these butterflies throughout public buildings here in our city. You know, and there's been times where we have had controversial images go up. We have the Steinbeck Center who, I have no doubt, farmers dug up his grave to make sure he was dead before they put up the center because they had no love for him. But they still put his image up because it represented the best of what is Salinas. And I'm sure there was financial considerations. This image, I hope you will see uh, fit to put up later throughout our public buildings because it really does represent the best of what our community offers. People coming here, succeeding, doing better, and going forward with their life to make ourselves or make ours a better community. Thank you. Thank you. And you know better. So go ahead, sir. Good evening, members of the City Council. Uh, Cesar Lara with uh, both Building Healthy Communities and Monterey Bay Central Labor Council here to encourage uh, passage of this uh, resolution. I think it's very timely uh, as uh, politics are going on now. You know, uh, it's been uh, not the best of times, but I think that uh, these are opportunities for leadership. And having a clear message on where a city stands uh, is, is what you put in resolution. So I support this resolution. Uh, the executive order that President uh, Obama did uh, was a clear message that Washington did not work. They couldn't get comprehensive immigration reform, so he did an executive order to carve away an opportunity for um, 
the, the youth of the country that might qualify for this. And it clearly shows that those that are DACA recipients uh, don't commit crime, are students, are a positive influence for this country. So they should be respected. Now we have a population that's in limbo in Monterey County, that they might have a DACA and have been able to plan their life. Now it's in question. There's a lot of fear in the community for those DACA recipients. And I think that any time you have government stand up uh, and, and, and at least say that it's up to the federal government to do something, but, but as local people we stand with you, um, that's a positive thing. And I want to thank Council Member Tony Barrera and Gloria de la Rosa weren't here that they um, came to a press conference we did uh, yesterday because of some actions going on on a separate issue, but uh, a clear message that immigrants are under attack. And this is standing on the right side of history and supporting those DACA recipients. So thank you very much. Thank you. I did raise my hand. Um, good evening, council thank members you. and mayor. My name is Anthony Rocha, and um, during my time on the Youth Commission, one of the things that I liked to do was meet with the young people in my school and, and hear the concerns that they had. And after the 45th president was elected, um, one concern that I always heard was um, the students who were DACA recipients, and they just didn't know what was going to happen with them, with their lives. And you know, as someone who, who I would always say, oh, I could help you with the issues facing your community, I felt helpless. I didn't know what to do. And, and if I'm a person who knows our state assembly member, knows our council members, knows our county supervisor, knows our local congress member, and I feel helpless, and some electeds feel helpless, imagine these students who are getting their information through the media, getting their information through Facebook. Imagine how scared they're feeling. And I, I just like to applaud Councilman De La Rosa and Councilman Scott Davis for, for championing this issue and championing this um, resolution. Um, resolutions are statements of values. Resolutions send out a message of what the council values and what the council believes. And I think um, our DACA students are going to find that this council supports them. But more than anything, it's great to have things in paper and it's great to you know just say resolutions. But what I want to ask this council is. It's great that we said we support DACA recipients, but let's actually do it. Let's work alongside the school districts. Let's work alongside the nonprofits and the county of Monterey and develop a plan to address the fallout of mass deportations, to address the fallout of these young people whose lives are literally being targeted. You have the president of a nation. Imagine you're, you're a student just trying to go to college, just trying to get your education, and the president is telling publicly, I'm going to target you and I'm make sure to get rid of you and throw you out of the country. When you've done nothing, you've not committed any crimes, you were not brought here through your own will, and now you're being threatened to be thrown out to a country where you've never lived in. So in closing, I would hope that this council would work alongside um, other government entities and nonprofits to address uh, the fallouts. Thank you. Thank you. City Clerk will call for the vote. I said for anyone. Then come right up, sir. Thank you. Um, thanks for thanks for putting this on. And, and I mean, I kind of feel like Johnny can late me in my mind. And I guess I'm sorry. You know, the beginning of the year, the way that the way it was Sanctuary City, and the way it's been suppressed after that. I, I just hope that that we're we're really looking forward to being more inclusive of people. Um, seem like yeah, we're scared of the federal government, but you, you do. You need to stand on the right side of history, and you, you need to stand on principle. Is where where we need to be at. Uh, thankfully, the state stepped in and, and is stopping a lot of whatever local control we have. So I'm happy for that, and I, I hope that that we've learned from the beginning of the year. At least I'm hoping so. Um, you know that, that that we're actually valuing life, and it's. This illegal thing is the same open discrimination thing. 98%, I'm sure there's some good people. No. Everybody's a good person. That's the way we need to start looking at stuff. And, and if, if they do wrong, then let's give them wrong. But we, we don't need to give punishment without proper, real issue, not just because they're not like us. That's not a good reason. They contribute more, obviously. Look at the Al South District. They put more in our tax base. And we're going to treat them like garbage? No. Thank you for doing Dreamers. I wish you would have done better with Sanctuary City. And I, I hope we're, we're really doing a change in attitude. Do I have a motion on this? Motion. Second. City Clerk. 
Councilmember Barrera? Aye. Councilmember Craig? Yes. Councilmember Davis? Aye. Councilmember McShane? Yes. Councilmember Villegas? Yes. Mayor Gunter? Yes.